constraints, we're basically looking at various things. So with what we call NIAM is what we're doing to make conceptual schema diagrams. We've got one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many. And depending on which way they go, they work really well. So our diagram looks a bit like the thing at the top there. If you can remember these three words, have only one, you should never get one of these wrong. Okay, and if I had a tattoo bit of gear with me, I would put it on the back of all your hands and you'd have it forever. And you'd so never get it wrong. Like, we're like Jews, except we get yes. only one. Exactly. We don't get it would be a, a good conversation starter at a pub when you're older. Okay, so when we look at um, the first one here, if we answer yes to the question, we're going to put a line across like so. I'll just jump out and change the colour of my pen so it's a bit better. Okay, so we're going to put a red line. So we do this if we answer yes. If we answer no, we leave it blank. So blank for no. And if we say blank and blank, so we say no twice, that's what we call a big no, no, which means we put a solid line across both sides. Okay? If we don't do that, we can't obviously mark the thing. It looks like you haven't done it. So let's get into a couple. Okay, we simply say, does an employee have only one date of birth? Yes. yes, we do. So we're coming from left to right, so we'll put our line there. Coming from the, the right to the left, does a date of birth have only one employee? No. no. So if you employ twins, for example, they're going to share it. So we leave this left-hand side, we leave it blank. So that one is done. So that is a one-to-many relationship. Okay? Moving along. Remember our phrase, have only one. Does a city have only one population? Yes. Yes? So remember it's at a point in time. So obviously at the hospital across the road there'll be babies popping out today and unfortunately a few people will die. But So the population will go up and down slightly but at a point in time we record it. Um, obviously we don't have that ticking away constantly. Does a population have only one city with it? So we could record that Toowoomba has 120,000 and Townsville has 120,000 at the same time. That would be okay. So that's a note, so we leave it blank. Okay, next one. Does a subject have only one teacher? No. No? So you've got lots of math classes, English classes, etc. Okay, does a teacher have only one subject? No. So te people teach English and maths, science and geography, etc. You'll notice we said no to both. No, no. So it's a big no-no. So we put a solid line across the roll box. So that's, that's a many-to-many -many relationship. So a subject has many teachers, a teacher has many subjects. We can't, because we said no, we should technically not mark it. But if we leave it blank, we haven't done a thing to it. So it's a bit dodgy, so we've got to do it. Okay, next one. Does a postcode have only one suburb? No? So if you look at Toowoomba, we've got, say, Middle Ridge, East Toowoomba. Heaps of them, they all have the same postcode. So we leave it blank on that side. Does a suburb have only one postcode? Yes, it does. So because we were going from right to left, we put it on the right-hand side. Okay. Next one. Does a principal or a headmaster or a head teacher or whatever you want to call them have only one school? Yes. Okay, does a school have only one principal, headmaster, etc.? Yes, they do. So we've said yes twice, okay? So it's a one to one relationship. So they have a unique link between each other. You don't see many of those. Most of the ones you'll work with are one to many or many to one, and then a few many to many thrown in. Okay, one that will relate to you, clowns, quite comfortably. Does a student have only one subject? No. No? So we've left that blank. I'm just going to put a little no there to remind us. Does a subject have only one student? No. No. That's a big one. Okay. So we've said no and no. We have to mark the thing, so it's a big no-no. So we put a solid line across the two. It is different to this one. So the one above with the principal and school is one-to-one. -one. They are two separate lines. The one, the student, and the subject 
is one solid line. Lucky last one, we'll look at that are binary. So remember, binaries are two. Okay, does a student have only one email address? Yes. Yes, so particularly at school, we give you an email address and you have that for yourself. Does that email address have only one student attached to it? Yes. Yes, it does. So again, that's the one-to-one. -one. Things that are one-to-ones are often good unique identifiers, so they're good primary keys. So things like email address are often used by websites as a good primary key. Okay, just before we finish, I'll just do one ternary one. So there's a ternary between a student doing subjects and they get a result. Okay, ternaries always look like this. Okay, if you draw them any other way, you've done it wrong. Okay, does a student have only one subject? No. no. So we've got a no there. Does a subject have only one student? No. No, so it's a many to many. Okay. There are always many to many's across the top of a ternary. Okay, you can't draw them any other way. Okay. We then say, does a student in a subject have only one result? Yes. Yeah, so at the end of year 11, at the end of year 12, they are a HA, a VHA, an A, a B, a C, whatever you want to call it. So because we said a student in a subject have only one result, we're coming from that way. So we've said yes, so we put a line there. Okay. The line always goes there. You can't put it anywhere else. Coming from the other way, if we thought a result... Can more than one kid get a VHA in a subject? Okay, obviously you can have heaps of A's or heaps of E's and across multiple subjects. So just because you do geography doesn't mean you must get an A. Okay, if you can remember, it's always many to many across the top and it's always that one closest to the join. You shouldn't get any of those wrong. Okay, time will tell.